So in today's video, I'm going to be filming a what I got for Christmas. So I filmed one of these last year and I loved filming it and I love watching other people's what I got for Christmas. First of all, because I like, everyone likes to be a little bit nosy and see what people ask for for Christmas and birthdays. And also, I love just watching them before it's my birthday because my birthday is in January. So very close to Christmas. So I like to watch what I got for Christmas videos for some inspo on what I would want for my birthday. I thought I'd film one this year and I know it's sort of a controversial video, especially to do this year, um, because a lot of people have been struggling. Everyone has been struggling in their own ways, whether that's financially or mentally. So I do just want to say, I hope you all had a, an amazing Christmas. I've definitely realized that this year is that just me being at home with my family on Christmas was a gift in itself. So yeah, without further ado, let's get started i wanted to start with something i got myself this christmas i got a job um and i was working for a good few months i was getting quite good money um and then corona just got worse and worse which also meant small businesses just just couldn't afford to have loads of stuff so i got let go and i was very very poor and i have not had any money but i'm glad that I'm still quite young during this pandemic, so I don't have to really worry about going out and spending money because we're not going out anyway. But when I did have the money, um, before I got let go of my job, I treated to myself, I treated to myself, I treated myself to some Jordans. So they are dirty. I need to clean them. I'm so happy to have them. So I got other ones. I didn't get them for Christmas. I got them like a little bit before these ones. But yeah, I got them. So moving on, Sophie and I gave each other our presents. So she got me this card, cute card. Um, and she wrote a cute message in it. So she got me a candle, um, but it's over there at the moment. And she also got me a Jimmy Choo um, perfume and i'm in love i love perfumes now like i never used to really be into them i'll just wear whatever perfume like i had but i've got this and olympia now and they are my go-to but my mum hates olympia um she just went off of it and now makes her feel sick so whenever i'm around my mum i'm wearing jimmy too so thank you soph i do love you even though i don't say it enough so my sister got me um these boots so these boots are from where are they from Dr oh i'm gonna forget the name stradavius Str y you know the one i mean um but these are the boots i really wanted some white or like creamy sort of colored boots and um, that didn't have a big heel so these don't really have a big heel at all um which i love and they're such a nice color some slippers um I love them. I don't, hardly have ever got slippers just because I've never been a slipper person. I've never thought of slippers, if you know what I mean. He also got me, let me just find it, this really cute um, little like tag thing to put on like your drawers and stuff like that. But it says, love you little sis, which is so cute. I love sentimental gifts, um, but I thought it was really cute that I can put on like my wardrobe handle or my door handle or something like that. So thanks Georgie for that shame he got me <laughs> this cracks me up um a let me show you the Jordan um Dior collab with I don't know if you can see that properly but yeah, he got me a key ring or two key rings that had the Dior Jordans on um, because he didn't realise that they were like, he didn't realise that I don't drive and I don't have keys, but um, hopefully I can be driving. I'm hoping by not next year, the year after um, or like late next year. I don't know because everything's just a bit crazy at the moment, but. I'm obsessed with these and they will be the first key ring to go onto my new keys when I do eventually get them. So thank you Shane for that. Possibly one of my favourite presents I got from the day because it's just, I love little things like that. Moving on to what my mum and dad got me. Um, 
these two books. These are both from the range. I picked these two out because I've got into makeup and I'm a makeup artist now, like I do freelance makeup. When I'm booking people in, it I tend to like get really confused because I'm booking people in in the same planner that I'm planning my days out. So it's really confusing. Um, so I wanted like two separate ones, one for work and then one for just daily journaling. So I got this one, which is a goals journal. It's got like manifestation sort of quotes and things like that. And then I got this one, which says 2021. Um, and this is sort of like more of a simple one with just the daily journaling, which I need for um, work. So I love them too. Um, not like really expensive jewellery, not anything like that. I just wanted a few little pieces of jewellery. Um, that was like one of the main things on my list. Although I didn't know what I wanted this year, so I sort of just left my mum up to her own devices. But she got me these, um, this set of rings. So I've got some on now. Um, they're like gold with teal accents. Um, and then she also got me this necklace from L LSI. And they've got an Instagram account. So sweet. The packaging is so cute. Um, but it's basically an Aquarius necklace. It has a picture of like the water bearer. Yeah, I love it. Thank you so much. Next thing my mum got me was this, these two pairs of socks. So these are Nike socks. I love them. So this is like a goldy sort of like nude pair. And then she also got me grey because she knows I love just monotone outfits. I'm always wearing grey, black and white. So she got, oh god I just turned it inside out. So these will be perfect for if I want to do a little jumper dress moment and then have these with a pair of Air Force. The next thing she got me was this headband to put my makeup and take my makeup off with. Um, I've always wanted one of these. I always see them on YouTube and like all the beauty gurus doing it. And I've wanted one for so long. It says selfie ready. And you'll definitely be seeing these in my future get ready with me because they aren't real. So she got me two makeup bits. I didn't really want loads of makeup for Christmas because we did go on like a makeup shopping spree to top up my kit. So this is the MAC um, face and body foundation. This is my all time favourite foundation for myself and also for my clients. Um, just because it's so versatile and easy like to mix with any colour. So I got the shade N3 just for reference. It looks pretty dark but it blends in even when I'm pale. So yeah, she got the big one which oh, I'm so glad about. Um, and then she also got me this MAC lip liner in the shade Strip Down because I've seen so much about this. Um, and then she got me the iconic brush set. So it has like a few eye brushes, um, a contour brush, blush brush, powder brush, foundation, literally everything. And they are the best quality brushes. So then she also got me a new fake tan. I wanted to try a new one out, um, but I didn't expect to get it because I remember we bought it for my sister, I think. Um, but it's the Coco Brown Dark Mousse. So I'm really excited to try it. I've heard good things. And then she also got me a tan and mitt because you can never go wrong. And I love the velvet ones because they last so much longer than the thin ones. She also got me heels. But she got me these from Miss Pap. My dad's watching Liverpool. I need to hurry up and get down there because I want to watch it. Um, but these are them. They're like two thick straps. I tried them on. I love them to pieces. The heel though, it's not a high heel at all, but where it's so thin, I swear I was falling all over the place and I just looked like a deer on ice. Like it was not a good sight. So it might need some practice, but I can't wait to wear them out. And with this hat, they will look unreal. So thanks for that, mum. I wanted to go for more of an oversized casual vibe because I knew that coronavirus is not just gonna go away in 2020. We're gonna, it's gonna go into two ones, so. I needed some tracksuits. Um, so I picked this one out when we were going for like, I think they were the the sales, is it like the Black Friday sales? Um, so I got this cropped um, high neck Nike jumper in JD. I think I got this in a medium. Um, and then I also got these black, um, they've got like a seam down the middle. They're quite like, they're massive. Um, I first got them in extra large and then I tried them on when I got home and they were way, way too big. Like they wouldn't even sit on my waist. 
but then I got these in a, like mum mum went and changed them and got a large and now they fit me like they still like just a, they just about hold onto my waist but that's how I wanted them I wanted them like huge so I love that I haven't really ever had loads of Nike tracksuits so that was nice to have um got two of these tracksuits from H&M my mum has these and I wear them all the time so she didn't want me to keep stealing them so she got me my own I get like a massive size it makes me feel skinnier because they're just so big that it's like oh skinny legend fitting into you know do you know what I mean <laughs> makes your waist look tiny if you're in big bottoms it just does something so I wanted this colour so I got this colour over there it's really hot in here but I got a light grey colour um um I got three like going out outfits I got a leather um duo set so she got me that and then she also got me oh she got me a corset top but it did not fit me at all I think she got me a size 12 but on the top since stopping the pill my boobs have just shrunk all of a sudden which trust me I'm so glad about because I hated having boobs of any sort so I'm glad they've shrunk um but it didn't fit me so we're gonna she's actually gonna take that and wear it, wear it herself and then she's ordered me a new one so I'm excited um and then best fitting dress ever really recommend um a good party dress and then she also got me a white club l london dress when i say this dress is the most gorgeous thing ever i'll try and insert a picture here on the model it fits like a glove i got a size 12 which i was so scared about because in dresses i'm always a size 10 just because i like them to be they i like them to fit me <laughs> like a 12 can be quite um baggy around the waist and it fit me so well like it wasn't tight it wasn't too big it was just perfect so i opened this like free presents in and i seen a dior bag and i was like gassed i was like for a split second i thought oh my god has she got me like a dior bag or like dior trainers like for a split second and then when i opened them um they were these so these aren't real i was i think she was looking at she found a page someone was promoting it so she just went onto the page and she found these um and she just really liked the trainers then she showed me and said should i get them and i was like okay definitely get the black because the black is unreal i've been looking for black trainers for the longest time i got the black um nike on like what name they're called but they were the black like nike trainers and I, I hated the way they looked on my feet i just couldn't find any trainers that were black and that were nice to wear of anything but i found them so she knew i loved the black so she got me them um so yeah and they're so subtle it's not like they've got a massive dior thing so it looks like oh my god she's like attempted to buy real trainers and they're not real if you get what i mean they're subtle they've just got like a little dior thing on the lace um but i didn't buy them for that sort of purpose um but they are unreal and i'm so glad i got them so thank you so much because i know these quite a lot of money but they were worth it because i am gonna wear these all the bloody time so thank you so much so that is all that I got for Christmas. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did make sure you make sure you leave a like and a comment and subscribe if you have if you haven't already. And I'll see you in my next video guys. Bye.